When an actor joins the show, we have a characterization session. And when it came to Ronnie, we said at the time, she would always wear a locket. And in that locket is a picture of her daughter that she gave away. Because we knew from the start that's what we were going to do. Suddenly, after the locket episode, everyone's goes, oh my god, she's Ronnie's daughter. When's she going to tell her? And you've got to keep that, that yearning from the audience to go, when, when is it going to happen? Cheers. Thank you. The idea about Danielle was that she was so kind of hurt and preoccupied all her life of being rejected by this mother that the thing she fears worst of all is being rejected again. So she holds off. She wants to kind of get to know Ronnie and charm her and make her like her and then tell Ronnie who she is. Ronnie, are you okay? What is it with you? Huh? Are you lonely? Are you looking for a friend? Because trust me, I am not it. It's always great to have characters who the audience know, don't know the secret. Um, and it's exciting as a writer because it just gives you an opportunity to have loads of subtext. Do you mind if I give you some friendly advice, Danielle? Yeah, I'd like that. Why don't you hop on the first train out of Houston and go home? What? Every time something good happens and, and Daniel gets close to telling, something bad happens and, it, and Ronnie shuts down and it doesn't work out. Uh, no, you, you, you don't understand. I, I have to have this job. I need the money. Well, I'm sure they've got their fair share of bar jobs in Telford. At least there you're going to be with people you know. I mean, your family. They must miss you.